Okay, hi everyone. Uh, on this video we're going to have a look at uh, MIG welding, which stands for Metal Inert Gas Welding, uh, which is a type of arc welding which was developed in the 1940s uh, specifically for, uh, for welding aluminium. Uh, we still use uh, MIG welding for welding aluminium, but now it's pretty much uh, commonplace for, for welding steel as well. Uh, and this is all set up for, for welding steel. So um, let's just have a look at what we've got here. It's quite a large plant, quite an old one. I've had this one for well over 20 years now. Um, rather than having the, uh, the, the, the welding stick here, uh, which we use for arc welding, we've now got a gun. Uh, and the steel, which is a consumable uh, filler, like the, uh, the arc welding, uh, comes out... Okay, so it comes out of the gun. Uh, it creates uh, an arc, just like in uh, the arc welding demo that you saw. Um, we've got the, the reel of mild steel here, which is pushed through this tube. Uh, the, the mild steel is actually coated with uh, copper, just to stop it rusting. Uh, now, on the, uh, on the arc welding, we had our, our layer of minerals here, which protected the, uh, the weld from contamination. On MIG welding, we've got an inert gas, which does the same job. So if I turn the plant round, you'll see at the back there's a, a gas bottle. Uh, uh, this is uh, CO2, carbon dioxide, which is an inert gas. Um, an inert gas is one that doesn't react with anything. This is the most common inert gas that you use with MIG welding. You can also use argon as well. Uh, mainly use argon for doing um, aluminium. But uh, we've got CO2 in place here. Uh, advantages of MIG welding. It's particularly good for welding together very sort of thin gauge mild steel. So if you're welding up patches on your old banger, um, it's, it's absolutely ideal. If you were to use... Um, uh, normal art welding on uh, very thin gauge. It's very easy to, to blow holes in it. So this is this is ideal. So with the gas turned on, what happens is um, uh, the filler comes out, uh, it strikes up an arc, uh, and the gas comes out and it shrouds the weld. So unlike the arc welding, when we finish the weld, you won't have a layer of slag onto it. Uh, it will be a nice a nice clean weld. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up uh, as we did on the arc welding video. I'm not going to talk about safety on this one because I've already done that on the arc welding video. So we're going to set up and we're going to give you a demo on, uh, on, on MIG welding. Okay, we're all set up with the, the MIG welding now. I've got my gloves on. Um, making sure that my, my inert gas is on, which it is. Um, got my filter ready. I've attached my, uh, my earth lead there. Bang out the way. So now we're ready to go. Are you right, Bass? You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Not uh, not the best world in the world, but uh, that's okay. I don't know whether you can zoom in on that bus. Okay, so um, unlike the uh, the arc welding, we've got no slag on the top that we need to chip off because of the the shrouding gas with the uh, uh, the CO2. Uh, so that's uh, that's MIG welding. Thanks for listening.